Hi everyone, and welcome to Insights for Ideas. My name is Joe Morse, I'm the author of this component, and I'm here today to take you through this component, show you how to use it, how to install it, and how to succeed with it. But first, we need to talk about our safe harbor statement. We at Salesforce ship a lot of functionality, and we want you to use and make your purchase decisions based on currently available functionality. We may talk about other items today, but make your purchasing decisions based on what's currently available in Salesforce. Let's talk about the Insights panel in Community Cloud. The Insights panel provides some great functionality for community managers and community professionals to walk through the activity in their community, to respond to moderation requests, to configure their community, and to curate some of the content. And now you can actually use the Insights panel with ideas. So our goal here is to talk about how you use Insights with ideas. Now first, a few assumptions. I'm going to assume that you have ideas set up in your community. Now, if you're running a tab-driven community, you can set up the ideas default functionality. Or if you're running the Peely or one of our community builder templates, you can write your own custom lightning components like this one here that expose the ideas functionality in the community. Once again, this is not out of the box. This is not uh, something that you get right away with your community, but this is something that you can go and build on your own or use with the tab community. Now, back to insights. The Insights panel provides a, a great way to monitor the health of your community and the activity in your community. Typically with some of the App Exchange packages that you uh, pull out of the App Exchange and put into your community, you can monitor things like discussions by the number of comments, the number of likes, the number of posts. You can monitor topics go that are being used in the community. And the great thing about the Insights panel is it'll let you link out to these things. And now you can use ideas with that as well. So I do, uh, by using this component and installing this component, you'll get this ideas panel in your Community Management Console's Insights panel. And this thing lets you do two things. It lets you look at recent idea contributions from people in your community, and it allows you to look at the top vote getting ideas in your community. This is a base set of reports that you can take and modify to suit your needs. And now with each of these ideas, you can click on the idea and it will take you right out to the community page that has the idea in it. So once again, the uh, Insights panel gives you great ways to monitor and take action on things in your community, and this component just lets you add ideas to that Insights panel. Now, let's talk about installing this component. You've come here from the App Exchange. You're probably familiar for, uh, with installing packages in the App Exchange, and installing this thing is dead simple. Log into your org as an administrator, and then go and install the App Exchange package that you clicked through from with, uh, to this video. Two steps, dead simple, very easy, and that App Exchange package will install several reports and report types into your org as well as a folder or two. Now, once you've installed your Community Insights Panel package, you're going to have to take some steps to configure it to work with your individual community. Uh, this is a basic three-step process that's covered in gory detail in the documentation that's included with this component, but let's take a look at the basic high-level steps. The first step after you install the package is to go and look up the zones affiliated with your communities. In Salesforce, ideas are categorized by idea zones, and those zones can be configured all over the place in your org. Some of those zones can be affiliated with a community. Step two will be to configure your insights panel for your community, and then step three is to go and edit those reports. So let's take a look at some, some of these items and these steps in detail. First and foremost, you're going to be in your Salesforce org like this. You're going to be under the setup panel. Uh, you're going to go in there and find your community. So let's take a look at the communities in this org. So today, I have one community defined in this org. It's called Customer Success. And that Customer Success community is running the Napili template. You may have multiple communities in your org. You can find that under All Communities. But if you look at the instructions, the first thing we need to do is find out or define idea zones for our community. So if we go up to this other browser tab here, you can go in and find your idea zones within setup here and look at all of your zones. When you create a zone, you can go and affiliate that zone with a particular community. So when I look at this customer community zone and I edit the zone, I can see that it's shown in a community and I've selected my customer success community. You may have multiple zones affiliated with your communities in your org. 
And so you can go through each zone in your org and find out which ones are affiliated with your community. The key is to pull out the zone ID. So if I look at this zone again, I can go up here to the URL and go and get that zone ID just by looking at it in the URL. That's going to come in handy later, so we'll copy that. Now, as we saw in the uh, presentation, step two is to go in and configure your insight panel to use those reports. Now, if I go into my communities and I click my manage button on the community, I will be taken to the insights panel or the actual customer uh, community management uh, console for that community. Now, the Insights panel has several things. None of them will be pre-configured in your community if you have not set them up. But the idea here is to go down to Settings, this part here, click the Settings button, and to set each one of these up. And you can see that Ideas here, I've taken and I've given it a label of Ideas. And if you search for a report here, just look for Insights, this Insights Ideas report will be uh, included in the package that you have. It's a report folder, and once you save, you'll have an ideas panel that shows up right here in the community management console. Now when you click on it, you'll be able to flip between the two reports in the package, ideas, recent contributions, and ideas, top vote scores. These are simply Salesforce reports that have been set up in this case to match your community zone. Now if you'll remember, our next step is to go and edit the reports with that community zone that we had. Remember the zones that we, uh, that we took a look at, our customer community zone, we grabbed the zone ID from it. If I go back to the insights panel here, we can go and edit the report we're in here. So for your community, the first time you run this, even if you have ideas shared in your community, this won't show anything because the report has not been filtered appropriately. This is just a Salesforce report. It's an ideas for insights report that's pulling out ideas. And what we want to do is change our zone name. In fact, it's not even the zone ID, as I said, it's the zone name. So if you edit this filter on each of the two reports in your community management console, and you add the customer community zone or whatever zone you have, you can add multiple values by putting a comma, you will see those reports right in your insights panel. So tweak your filters, save your report, then go back to this and refresh your page, and you should see ideas shared in your community if they exist there. Do this again and again, rinse and repeat for every community in your org. You may need to make copies of those Salesforce reports. That's about it. Uh, have fun with this component, and if you have any feedback, please don't hesitate to contact us on the Success Community. Thank you.